I'm Yannick. I'm half Dutch, half Sri Lankan. Um, I've been living in the Netherlands for nine years now. I counted it out today. Um, I've not necessarily had bad experiences living here. I um, always heard from my mom that I should be more assertive. And I guess that's the Sri Lankan person in me that I'm not as assertive as a Dutch person. And that she, yeah, she'd say, you know, be more direct, be more assertive, because, you know, people will walk over you here. And I guess uh, over the years, I've become more assertive and more Dutch in that sense. Um, but sometimes I do have difficulty, especially when people find it necessary to ask me where I'm from and where I'm really from. And it varies between people at work or uh, in shops. And um, it depends on my mood as well, if I'm lenient enough to tell them I'm half Dutch, half Sri Lankan, or usually I just go with whatever people guess. And because um, Dutch society is quite used to uh, the Moroccans and the Turkish demographic in the Netherlands, they often assume I'm either Moroccan or Turkish, because uh, I guess I look Arabic enough. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing. So if I'm in the mood, I go with it. Yeah. Living here, I've also become more proud of being mixed, um, especially being mixed Sri Lankan. I grew up there, and uh, I guess I had my own experiences there, and Sri Lanka is becoming a big tourist destination lately. Um, yeah, I know that I wouldn't want to live here forever, I think. Uh, I used to say, like, I wouldn't want to end up in Holland, I wouldn't want to end up in Sri Lanka either, but lately I've been more lenient towards moving back to Sri Lanka, especially um, having the knowledge maybe I acquired here and knowing that, um, yeah, there, Sri Lanka needs not help, but I don't know, I'd like to make a difference, and in the Netherlands, I don't know if, yeah, it's a... I don't know. Like I, I like living here, except I mentioned it in my piece as well. I don't feel as if I'm Dutch enough to most Dutch people. Like I always have to prove my Dutchness. Like, and I speak Dutch quite well in my own opinion. But um, yeah, that sometimes they're like, oh yeah, but that's because you're Sri Lankan, or that's because uh, you haven't lived here. Well, I don't know. I feel as if I'm as Dutch as a Dutch person, but also as Sri Lankan as a Sri Lankan person. And I have that in Sri Lanka as well, like over the summer last year, uh, a lot of my friends were back and uh, I speak basic Sinhalese, but not well enough. And um, a lot of them were like, oh, it's okay, you're Dutch, you don't need to speak. Or like sometimes uh, with ordering a tuk-tuk, they were like, oh, can you maybe stand there? Cause like they'll, they'll see that you're white and then you know they'll charge us more. And then I'll be like, what? But I'm Sri Lankan, like <laughs> I can prove to them I speak a bit of Sinhalese. And then they'll always be like, ah, where are you from? Where are you from? And I guess in Sri Lanka, I'm more accepting to the question because I do look less Sri Lankan than an average Sri Lankan. Uh, but here, yeah, I think not necessarily that the tone is more negative, but it's just more judgmental. They want to put you in a corner straight away, like, oh, okay, yeah, you're not Dutch or like you have different blood. And I guess it's here, it's out of interest as well, but different, I guess.